Hi. We have Kizzy Bear, uh, otherwise known as Rudy Norlander, Rudy Norlander, who recently survived and made it through and is thriving now, uh, post grizzly bear attack, uh, where the grizzly bear tried to rip his face off because he was too beautiful. <laughs> and, um, and here he is. Who, yeah. Oh, or hungry. Yeah. How long ago was it? Two months. Two months. Two months okay. Man. A few days. And he's just made a remarkable recovery. Uh, Rudy's here with his daughter, Ashley, who's going to kind of act as an interpreter. But uh, I would say up to this point, Rudy, you haven't really been able to talk in interviews. No. Did it hurt before when you were trying no, to talk? I couldn't really do anything. Okay. And now your jaw is starting to heal? Swelling's gone down. Swelling's gone down. Can Tongue, you... Tongue's working like it should now. Can you feel this? No. No, no <laughs> sensation. Okay. <laughs> Cause, and that came off your arm. That's your arm yeah. skin that's on your jaw right now. That's bonkers. It's going to look good in the hair. <laughs> yeah. hair's going this way. The hair's going this way. Yeah. This going to be all funky. Is it really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. so like, great. Yeah. <laughs> Just the wind will be blowing at all times, you know? It's a challenging <laughs> shave. Yeah, it's <laughs> <definitely. laughs> <laughs> what is the latest medical update and and prognosis? Um, so we have a checkup on Friday with Dr. Cool here in Bozeman. Um, we'll go see her once a week, and she'll check out the hole inside of his hole and his like neck. Okay. Um, to see if that's healed. Once it's healed, we'll go back to Utah and do the swallow study, and if that goes good, then off to soft foods and liquids. And I could start eating. And he could start eating. Gosh. She's actually the doctor that did my tracheotomy. Yeah, she's okay. the doctor that did okay. tracheotomy. Oh, wow. The one that we're seeing here in Bozeman. Oh, that's cool. Did she cool. fly down to... No, so she's the original doctor that he's part okay. of the team that he saw here originally in Bozeman. Got it. Cool. But she knows the doctor that did the job. Yeah. She knows okay. It's a small world here yeah. in, the, in the mountains. Is there still a hole? Oh, yeah. Yes. So yes. There's a lot of my tongue. Yeah. Okay. So, so if I drank, it would come out. Here. It would just yeah. blip, blip, dribble everywhere. Yeah. Can, does it affect does it the way sense? you whistle? Can you whistle through? I can't whistle. <laughs> you can't whistle. <laughs> I told her I problems. I used to have a pretty good whistle. Maybe really good whistle. you could practice the two finger whistle eventually. That might you can figure out some sort oh, of wind tunnel. Like really good yeah, Joe's not. He thinks he is. I have a great whistle. Are you kidding me? I, I taught. It. It, well, yeah, we'll do that later, we'll do a but... whistle concert. It's crazy that you know. I looked at a lot of pictures of of you before the attack, and you always would stick your tongue out. Like that was your signature thing to do for photos, and then for this to happen to you, right, you get like, your jaw ripped off. Like, what are they? Uh -huh. Kept the tongue though. Kept the tongue. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to. You can still do that. Bear tried to take it away. Yeah. But nope. Not winning. Um. So, what is your latest update? Medical update? Prognosis? I know we talked a little bit about I've it. I've already asked that. Still calling for a full recovery. A full recovery. Full recovery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So March will go down yeah. and they'll finish the jaw and do more dental work. So Oh got it. Yeah. March. Do you have some dental do you have some teeth missing or things like that? Yeah. yeah. This whole side pretty much. Got it. Okay. Were they able to salvage any of your teeth from the attack? I know well, sometimes Oh, it's that one. That one. Oh nice. <laughs> on the top. Okay. And then the this bottom half is about half there. Cool. Uh, talk about coming back to Bozeman and getting back into your house. How was that? Great. Yeah, great. Yeah. He's enjoying being home. Yeah. Still Get not normal, but it's better than being in a hospital bed. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to see your dog and kind of yeah. getting back to, you know, the life that you knew. <laughs> Sleep in his own bed. Yeah. <laughs> And just getting out of Salt Lake City. Yeah. I bet you felt yeah. trapped there. You guys, they brought me Scandinavian swimmers from Trader Joe's. Yeah, <laughs> the most thoughtful thing in the world. That's, that's so nice. Thank you.
<laughs> Surprise, you're not clutching right now. I here. know. I hid them for my children immediately. Like, they're not going to even know this happened. <laughs> uh, but right now, you're still eating through your tube, right? You yeah. you couldn't eat gummies or anything like that. It's just It's all... hard to even swallow. It's hard yeah. to eat yeah. and swallow. I can do it. It takes a hurt. Yeah, I can't imagine. And then they're, yeah, the, once this is filled up, are they going to do any more work on your like trachea, larynx area? Nope. That's all yeah. done. So that's all, done. all good. Just healing. Just healing. Cool. Do you want to ask him about the Bobcats game? I was going to ask him about the Bobcats game. She's Just a cat. So you're a recent, She's... I'm a cat. She's an alum. MSU yeah. alumni. <laughs> um, I need to get a new tag. It's getting a little faded. It's I'm true. Like, I like being here Gotta represent. and also being an alumni. Yeah, right. Okay, listen. But yeah, big uh, Cats fan. Joe just went to his first game recently. and It was, it was, it was a good game. game. I saw you outside of the there. stadium. Yeah. So so tell us about that. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. Felt good to be back. My buddy got a standing room ticket for all the home games. Oh, games. very nice. First I missed the first two or three. Yeah. But we went to the last one, too. Those are some good games, though. So that was the first game I've ever been to, and I was blown away by the fact that everybody leaves the stadium at halftime. It's amazing. (laughs) I've never been to a college football game where everybody just leaves, goes to the parking lot, drinks their own beer, and then comes back in. A little rowdier than before, yeah. (laughs) I thought that was fantastic. And so on, don't wake up. That's what I got from that. It seemed like a lot of people are just going to stay in the parking lot at that point. If it's a close game, they'll come back. (laughs) But if it's a blowout, just hang out there. All right. I think for me, it would depend on the weather. Like the last game you went to, you were a little cold and you couldn't feel your hands. So for me, I'd probably hang out in the warmest space possible. Yeah. Still with full, like, cheer. I can see uh, you doing that. And also near the nachos. They're. Something with cheese and and chips. I'm going to stay there. <laughs> uh, any plans to go to Missoula for Cat Grizz? Oh, oh, yeah. You're going? Oh, yeah. Or you're going to the game? You got yeah. tickets? Nice. <laughs> All right. Lucky. Good yeah. throw. Oh, what? what? So pretty oh. big ones. Awesome. So if, if you guys are going, be on the lookout for Rudy at the game. Celebrity. It, that should be a really good one, huh? The both both teams are hopefully not hopefully. Oh, you you right. want it to just be a blowout think, for sure. <laughs> I think it's time. Team. Okay. Yeah, we do. I think that we yeah our team has a better the chance. We play with potential. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. we need anybody. Okay. Yeah. When I first started watching the Bobcats, I moved here from Alabama, and uh, the stadium here was the same size as our high school football stadium. Right. That was like 90, <laughs> 95, 96. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> you know, I didn't know, like, is this college ball? But it was fun to go to those games because they were so cozy. Well, there's not like, a bad seat in the house. Right. You're so close to but the But the action. team is so much better now. They're like legit players. It's almost like watching ice hockey. Right. You can just see all the action, right. all the hits. It's mm-hmm. so you fun. You see how hockey sick is? Yeah, we used to get hockey tickets. Why did you stop? Well, they're moving the ice garden to the pavilion. Okay. The ice shower. Yeah. And you didn't want to move with them. We used to have a, on the glass. Oh, on the plexi? Kind of not the same. On the, okay. on the goal. It's not the same. The yeah. No, I, I heard about the ice garden days. Like, that was I don't know why they, I don't know why they got rid of it. Yeah. We used to go on the weekends. Sorry, I'm just a segue. No, uh, we used to go on the weekends. Um, Carl Strong, the Strong Racing Frames guy. I don't know if you know him, but anyway, uh, they loved racing cars too. So we used to bring Subarus out there and uh, race in that parking lot because it was the perfect, nice, yeah, we... smooth loop. Yeah. <laughs> and the ice dogs clearly weren't playing, and the parking lot was empty. So yeah, we used to do some racing. Maybe Back that's the why day. they shut it down. <laughs> It's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> my fault. They were like, you were the problem. <laughs> the racers keep ruining the parking lot. <laughs> uh, tell us what your biggest challenge is at this point. Uh, either eating, eating, or not getting being a able full to night eat. sleep. Full night of sleep. Okay. That's just, just like finding the right position or. Yeah. 
I get so much mucus in my mouth. Okay. Yeah. I got to get up and clean it out. Otherwise, I'm choking. Yeah. yeah. So. You can't just hook rough. up a, a wet dry vac well, right there. Yeah, they, 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 they <laughs> suck the machine that doesn't suck. Well, okay. it sucks. It, it, not, not, it, 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 it sucks, sucks in the wrong way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hate mean, it. Good. I hate that. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I, I can't imagine not being able to get a full night's sleep. Is the doctor telling you that that's temporary? You're going to be, this is just something you have to Last get through. Last night I only got up once. So I Which is really, really hours. good. Okay. Straight. That's progress. Listen, I got up to pee twice, so it's you win. Right. <laughs> uh, you were showing us some scars that have, that have healed yeah. and uh, like big, just claw marks from the bear. Uh, you know, how, how often do you think about the attack and like replay it in your mind? No, not real often. No. You know, when I meet someone, they say, Oh, you're the rare guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you yeah. know, I recount it and it goes through my head. Okay. But it's in not the something. Hospital, it was like every almost night. every day. Okay. Yeah. And I almost had a point like the second or third week. I was almost. PTSD. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It was really bad. It was just waking me up. And... Oh, yeah. Are you going to go to therapy or something like that to kind of get through it? You feel like... I'm, not, I'm already through it. You're one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting through it, when do you anticipate getting back to work? Oh, Tomorrow. He, he's uh, already back to work. <laughs> I already got three snow wheels. Yep. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Get there, out there. There is no chill with him. Do you know I've got their hands on. I've been fighting with the prison. My youngest son's out. Yeah. To get him released, and they won't do it. Okay. So I've been trying to get hold of the governor because that's really his decision. To uh, help so, me out here. Um. My little brother is yeah. in prison in Glendive. Oh, I just, yeah. He's, he's been helping me since he was five. Yeah, he's yeah. been helping so him he's an snowmobile. snowmobile. He knows that trail like I do. But you need him to get and out of prison to help you, basically. That asked... was in the situation. Then I went back to where he was. He said, you can manage for the phones. You could take people out and move the set. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we... Tried to ask him to like give him a pardon, you yeah, because he's in there for a very minor offense, driving on a suspended, and they sent him back. What? So, mm. Yeah, nice. So, um, not for strangling a grizzly bear with no, his bare hands. I wish right. that would actually be worth it. Yeah, exactly <laughs> for avenging but, his father by a right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, mm. but I mean, it is what it is at this point. We're yes. Just, well, if you're watching this, Governor, do the right yeah. thing. <laughs> Let, Let him go. Let him go. Let <laughs> tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we're going to start picketing. After this. Yeah, we're starting a movement here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so overall. This yeah, this is your question. I think it's great. Yeah. Overall, this experience, I think people go through things in their life, difficult times. Uh good times difficult times they change you has this changed you for the better yeah. oh yeah how so since day two since day two he has said yeah. that it's only by the grace of god that he's still here and it's honestly made him a little soft Aha. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, he's always Not been a little like, softer. Maybe. A little softer. <laughs> I mean, he's always been kind of soft. But me. maybe but your your outlook. Your outlook that definitely. I, I pretty much got the rest of my life figured out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I was going to adventure. He's going to have me Tuesday through Saturday. Yeah. Sunday's going to be devoted to church fireside giving inspirational talks. Good. That's and awesome. And Monday's going to be doing a TV or radio interview wherever I am on yeah. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a book. Oh, yeah. Got he four definitely. Books. He All wants right. to make four books. Oh, but... I like it. I like <laughs> it. Four yeah. books. <laughs> there should be. Load them up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One about the attack, two. Um, 
about his Navy days. And then um, the, the third spiritual um, spiritual side of him. And then um, fourth, uh, like an autobiography. Okay. So, so what, what about awesome. the revenge attack when you... That's go it. after Under the bear. Then is that? Oh, he ain't even food in the one. Okay, yeah. just making sure you got it space for. We're going to be in the dusted person. So it's a yeah. two pronged ask for the guy. <laughs> or Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent, if you're watching. Ted Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I. So one thing that I love about you is just how your attitude has been so upbeat. You've remained funny, making jokes throughout this whole process. And, and I think, you know, that's part of the reason I'm, I'm drawn to like, keep talking to you is because it, it makes me happy. It makes me feel good about life, just interacting with you after what you've been through. So thank you for doing it. You need to go up or down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. it. Seems like seems He's like you've definitely chosen your direction. <laughs> and are, are Except still... the hair on your beard. That's gonna go sideways. Yeah, is I wonder if it will go gray or if it'll stay like a darker color. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I have to go with that approach as well. <laughs> I know. I looked at Joe like a picture of him from last year to this year. I was like, oh, that's the difference. Yeah. His beard was becoming fuller gray. Yeah. At first it was stripes, but then it kind of mm. comes in. It's uh, Tim Allen, Santa Claus. <laughs> right. I am Santa Claus. <laughs> what's happening. I love it. It's not good. I think it's, it's great. It's good. <laughs> well, I'm I'm you glad age to... gracefully. You age gracefully. Yeah. We, we should all be so lucky. Right. You know? I know. We should all be lucky enough to age and here we are. Mhm. All right. Well, the new job. <laughs> the new yeah. job. A anything else that you want to say that you that you guys want to share? I feel like we've asked all of our questions and it's been really interesting talking to you. It's been amazing all the support from you. Yeah, it's been so overwhelming. Yeah. Do you need more been... now that you're back in Bozeman? Always. What's uh, what what's something people can do to help you out at this point? Well, my next fight is with the Forest Service. <laughs> His next fight is with, with the, the Forest, forest service? service. Oh, what is that over? Guy permit. Guy permit. Okay. I've yeah. been with them for 15 years to get my guy from that ask. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So that's that's an ask for sure. But maybe maybe there's some folks in the right place uh, to help you out. With for that. those of you in the Forest Service know, uh, <laughs> get in touch with Rudy. <laughs> right. He needs, he needs some people on the inside. But that's yeah. Right. Got it. Got to get your guide permit. Uh and and thank you, people of Bozeman, for uh, reaching out and helping Rudy and and uh, the prayers, the donations, the prayers, the donations, support. Yeah. support everything. Like today, I went to Costco and the ladies like your joy is so inspirational. Thank you. I love it. But it's yeah, not over yet. If I yet. mention you to anybody in town, they know who you are. And and still a lot of procedures ahead of you. A uh, few. So. A few. Not keep, a lot. Let's keep just, it up. Let's break it down. Well, I'm just saying just people should keep yeah. supporting. And yes. We appreciate any we support we can get. Of course. Yeah. And um, I know that you're a veteran. So um, we thank you for your service. Thank you. And, Veterans um, Day. Yeah. So yeah. we appreciate you being a veteran. And also you said Navy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My granddad's a Navy guy. Aviation electrician. I worked on f 14 Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Very those are, cool. Those are I mean, shotgun. Well, not shotgun, but foul in Nevada. Wow. Yeah. Very I, cool. I, that's a, you have lived a cool life and more to come, right? That's <laughs> why I got looks out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you guys so much for your time. And yeah, continue your support of uh, Rudy and his family. Um, and also find somebody in the Forest Service to get this guy back uh, guiding with his permit. That's right. And wait, uh, son, out of prison. Yep. 
and take a snowmobile out. Yeah. Do you right? Yeah, come see us. <laughs> Go on an we're, adventure. We're small, so we're you're small. Very yeah. small. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Small operation, which is the best kind of operation. Call today. Get on the schedule. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Call tomorrow. <laughs> Call tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Starting tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate you driving over. Leave it there. <laughs>